Councillor Joel Charles, um, where we're standing today at the old Harlow Health Centre, this came up in Cabinet just a year ago. Can you take us back to a year ago and why it came up? Well, the September 2019 Cabinet, a report came to uh, administration members about a plot of land at the back of Jenner House, which is currently used as a staff car park, which the medical practice wanted to convert into four additional GP consultation rooms. Now, the purpose of that is to actually deal with the capacity issues that there are expected to be as Old Harlow expands as a community. We do need more GP facilities. And of course, we've just gone through the coronavirus lockdown. So our primary care facilities are vital at this moment in time. And the dedication and prof uh, professionalism of primary care staff, GPs, working to deal with the coronavirus, this is a perfect opportunity to invest in healthcare in Old Harlow. So a year ago, a year long from that cabinet, what's the problem? We've got, we've made no progress whatsoever. And I understand that the medical practice is very frustrated by the intransigence of Harlow Council to get this over the line. The sticking point is the valuation of the a uh, small plot of land, the car park at the back of Jenner House. Harlow Council are refusing to budge on that. Now, privately over the last few weeks, my colleague, Councillor Mike Garnet, and I have tried to broker a wider conversation between the council and the medical practice. And frankly, we received a tone deaf response from Harlow Council. They are refusing to budge on the valuation. And I think that's quite wrong because we should be open to investing in health and well-being in our community, particularly at this difficult time as we're trying to recover from the coronavirus lockdown. We still have a way to go and we're moving into the winter flu season, as well as what we hope there won't be, uh, a resurgence of the coronavirus. And we've got to do everything we can to support primary care officials in their battle to prevent that. My concern is Harlow Council have got to move. They've got to be willing to invest in four new GP consultation rooms because the threat of not doing that means that this facility is not able to accommodate the expansion of Old Harlow and we may lose Jenner House in its current location which I oppose because Jenner House at this central location is vital for the community. We have an elderly population that use this medical practice on a regular basis. I don't want this medical centre to have to move and then to force the medical practice and the West Essex Clinical Commissioning Group to fork out an awful lot more money on a new medical practice, perhaps at Gildon Park. I want Jenner House to stay here, but that means Harlow Council have got to invest in health and wellbeing on the existing site here in Old Harlow. I can't see them doing that at the moment, and I'm very concerned about it. Is, is the population no moving in that way, in that you've now got as new hall expands moves towards us here in, in the heart of old harlow in gildon park is is it is that going to be inevitable that this place will move at some stage no i i i believe jenna house should stay where it is it's a good central location for old harlow yes we have the expansion of new hall and gildon park which means that we do need to increase the capacity of primary care provision in old harlow that's why we need those four additional consultation rooms i thought harlow council got that message over nearly a year ago now but we're still locked in a negotiation where Harlow Council isn't prepared to move. Actually I think they should because we should be investing in healthcare at this critical time.